do you got a cucumber? Yeah. So what? You're bringing in an outside cucumber? They refuse to put cucumber in the salad. I need cucumber. What have I done? What? I can't read this. Fulman, Hertel, Vom. I got up last night. I wrote this down. I thought I had this great bit. Wait a second. Wait a second. Fax me some halibut. Is that funny? Is that, is that a joke? No. Let me see that. Don't mess with Johnny. Johnny? Johnny who? Johnny Carson? Did I insult Johnny on The Tonight Show? Did you mess with Johnny, Jerry? <laughs> Let me see that. Hey, where's Kramer? I don't know. That's like asking, where's Waldo? <laughs> I think I'm having a heart attack. I don't think that's it. I'm not kidding. What does that mean? I think what he's trying to say is that he's having a heart attack. Oh, he's having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Tightness. Come on. Shortness of breath. Oh, this is ridiculous. Radiating waves of pain. I know what this is. You saw that show on PBS last night, Coronary Country. <laughs> I saw it in the TV guide. I called him, told him to make sure and not watch it. There was nothing else on. <laughs> All the left on. Left on. <laughs> you saw that show on anorexia last year. Ate like an animal for two weeks. Why can't I have a heart attack? I'm allowed. I could have predicted this to the minute. I'm going to drop dead. Jerry, I'm going to drop dead. Last time, you thought you were having a brain tumor. Turned out your eyeglass prescription was too strong. <sighs> Maybe it's just gas. I know gas. This is a heart attack. So what do you want? You want me to take you to the hospital? Manhattan Memorial. Less of a line. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. Just get a cab. Oh, so he's going to spring for a cab. Wait here. Is everything all right? <laughs> we'll just take a check. You made a mistake on the... <laughs> Forget the cab. Call an ambulance. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Say, say. If I catch you coming in here with a cucumber again, you're going to carry it home with your hands free. <laughs> Where have you been? Hanging out in the emergency room. What, trying to meet a gunshot victim? <laughs> I picked up this old Reader's Digest, and it had the most amazing article about this woman, Marilyn, who had this hormonal problem that caused her to have this tremendous, overpowering body odor. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I heard of her. Marilyn the Funky Gorilla Girl. <laughs> Work the county fair circuit. I, I never should have moved that couch yesterday. That's what did it. Anyway, she wound up <laughs> losing everything. Everything. Her family, her friends, her job. Because of the B.O. Evidently. Did they say what type of B.O. it was? Was it like a garlicky thing or a locker room? Well, the article described it as somewhat akin to the first whiff of a circus. Oh. I think I dated her. <laughs> I should have bought the sectional. It was 2,500 bucks. Bunch of crooks. Anyway, I was just up to where she was ready to kill herself over this. They wouldn't let me take the magazine out. Can you believe it? I mean, it's like two years old. They got stacks of them. Well, I can understand that. It's a waiting room. I mean, without a good magazine supply, those people could turn into an ugly mob very quickly. I gotta find out what happens to Marilyn, the woman with the B.O. <laughs> oh, please, come on, it's nothing. <laughs> Do you want to give me back that Reader's Digest you took from downstairs? I got to find out what happened to the woman with the B.O. How am I going to find out what happens to this woman with the B.O.? Please let me find out what happened to the woman with the B.O. Oh, Marilyn, the gorilla girl. She went to a healer who cured her with a special tea, except her face turned purple and it never went away. 